guys, welcome back to The Keen Life. Today I'm gonna do a, my breast pump, I guess you could say. Um, disclaimer, this is not um, sponsored by the people I bought this from. I'll explain to you how the website goes, but it's not sponsored. Um, so, the website I went through is called airflowbreastpumps.com. Um, you go to their website. There are many different other websites, but this is the one that I was recommended to by many different people, so this is the one I went with. Um, you go to their website, and you go to the top, and it says, like, qualify through insurance or something like that. You click it, and you put your information in, and then, excuse me, your midwife's information in. Um, so with your midwife or your OB, whatever you go to, You'll need their first name, last name, phone number, and where they work. Like, so if they work, so I go to Evans. So I had to put Evans Hospital, Military Hospital, whatever they call it. I don't remember what they call it. Hold on. So I had to fill that information out. They qual. I had to qualify through insurance. So they contacted insurance, make sure it was qualified. Or I qualified, make sure I was a. Uh, that was part of their insurance. I got an email saying that I qualified. So then I went back to their website. They gave me pretty much a list of the brands that is covered by my insurance. The brands that are covered are Medela, Spectra 1, Spectra 2, and I want to say it's Evenflow, but it could be another brand. Don't catch me. Don't take me on that. I went with the Medela. Um, they, with my insurance and this website, when they combined, they paid for pretty much the breast pump itself, but not my carrying bag. So I'll show you my carrying bag. But I was okay with that. My carrying bag was only like $25. That's not too bad, but it can be used as a diaper bag, whatever. Anyways, back to the pump. So with what in, uh, insurance covered, oh, hold on. Rewind, sorry. So I chose the pump that I wanted. They, they do all pretty much all the work. They get your prescription, unless you have one already. But they get your prescription. They call your midwife or OB. Get, make sure that you're getting seen by them. Make sure you're in the system. Um, with my OB or with my midwife and where I go when I, where I'm seen, they don't give you a prescription for a breast pump until 30 or 32 weeks. Well, with that being said, I don't like waiting that long because by that time, I mean, they shouldn't, but the baby should, could come any time then. So I went, that's the reason, that's another reason I went through this company because I know they go, they go straight to my midwife or my hospital and get the prescription. So I don't have to wait till 30 or 32 weeks, whatever it was. So... They got that, and then after they got the prescription, I got an email, hey, we got it, we'll ship it out this date. Once they ship it out, you'll get another email with the tracking number and everything else in it. I got it in about a week, so about two weeks after qualifying, I got it. Um, so with, my, with what insurance covers, they cover the pump itself, which is, I got the Medela. Um, it's a cute little carrying case, but the reason I got the actual carrying case is because this is the only thing that it carries is the pump itself. I've got all these parts, how am I supposed to carry them? Anyways, so it comes with the wall outlet, a portable plug so that you can pump in the car or if you don't have an outlet available to you. It comes with two bottles, the tubing, the parts that connect to the bottle, And then the part that attaches to your breast. Oops. Your breast. Yes, I will sanitize all of these before she gets here. But because I have been touching all of them, because I've been moving them and whatever. Um, also with this, it came with give me one second. A starter breastfeeding starter pack twist. I wanna say it's kind or kind. I'm not hundred percent sure. So it came with this. 
And in this pack, it came with, oops. So the bottle itself. Oh. So it comes with the bottle, the bottle attaches. You put the bag in the bottle, they feed out of this. Um, it comes with attachment parts to different breast pumps. And then it came with one bag and a coupon. Um, the coupon, it says to get free stuff, but it's literally just this starter pack again. And I think it was like $5, so it technically wasn't free, but I mean, you paid shipping, whatever. Um, give me one second. Put this back in here. Drop this. Ouch. Um, so there's that. Put that off to the side. It also came with breastfeeding bags. Um, a while ago when I, well not a while ago, but when I was watching breast pump videos, like which breast pumps are better, I went to YouTube, did my research, went, well I went to YouTube, watched many different videos on different breast pumps, not just one pump, and then I did my research. But when I was reading, or when I was on YouTube, a lot of these, a lot of the Medela pumps came with actual Medela bags. I'm not a big fan of those because I'm always afraid. I haven't started breast pump, breastfeeding, of course, because the baby's not here yet, but I would always be afraid that it would leak and then there goes the breast milk. So when I saw that I got the twist um, bags, I was super excited because those can be on tight. And then, so I got eight boxes of these the little boxes come in these. And I believe there's, I wanna say like 20 maybe in each. Let's see. Um, let me open this box. Yeah, so about 20. So, with that being said, um, through TRICARE, not sure about any other insurance, so don't quote me on this, through TRICARE, once the baby is born, you contact the breast, uh, whoever you got your breast pump through, contact them, let them know, hey, my baby was born, um, and they will start sending you replacement parts, bags, I've heard they send bottles. I'm not 100% sure how true that is, but um, I mean, you can always find these at like Walmart, Amazon, whatever. But I think that was it. Um, again, this is not sponsored by Airflow. So if your insurance doesn't cover it, don't come back at me. Some insurance covers it but I believe that was all that came with, oh, my bag, the bag I purchased myself. It's $25, so a little on the more, per se, expensive side, but, so it comes, it can be used as a diaper bag or for your breast breastfeeding stuff. The front pocket, it opens. These are insulated for the bottles, so you got, three insulated pouches for the bottles, and then you got a little mesh to put whatever. Um, then it's got two side pockets. Those aren't insulated. But this side pocket has like a little slit for like wipes, so you can put wipes in there or whatever. Or even the cleaning, for the cleaning wipes for your breast pump. But there is the inside of it. The bottom actually unzips because the breast pump just sits inside of it. So the, if you don't want to use it like that, whatever, for whatever reason, I don't know, you can unzip it, but underneath is insulated. It has breast, breast bags in it right now, but, but the whole bottom is insulated. So you keep bottles in there or whatever. So, yeah, so that's the end of 
my insurance what my insurance covered for a breast pump. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, or just comment down below in general. Um, don't forget that like and subscribe button down below too. Um, stay tuned. I'm gonna start doing trying fingers crossed weekly updates um, as of yesterday the 7th of March I am 19 weeks so I might do a 19 week update 19 week one day update whatever I don't know haven't decided yet but stay tuned to more videos in our family vlog um, we in two weeks we will be going to Wheatland Wyoming for an RC race so if you watch those videos stay tuned for that um, stay tuned for other videos that we decide to upload we have some that we're editing but it's taking a little while but yeah so stay tuned <laughs>